Today, I'm sharing a recipe for mushroom gravy on top of cauliflower steak. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. Hey everyone, welcome back to my kitchen. If this is your first time here, my name is Pamela and I like to share deliciously easy plant-based recipes. So if those are the types of videos that you like, be sure to click that little red subscribe button down below along with the notification bell so you can join me every week for a new recipe. And today I have got an amazingly delicious recipe for you. It is a mushroom gravy on top of cauliflower steaks. It's also delicious on mashed potatoes, mashed cauliflower, uh, pretty much anything you wanna put this on top of, it is delicious. It's also reminiscent of Thanksgiving, so it is perfect for your holiday gathering. So let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, so I have already rinsed off my cauliflower and I'm just going to pull off the leaves and cut off the majority of the stem on the bottom there. And since it's just me for dinner tonight, I'm going to cut out two um, steaks from the center of this cauliflower and then uh, save the sides to use for roasting or um, eating raw or something like that later because they'll kind of fall apart as you can see um, pretty easily into florets. Then I'm going to place these on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper and brush them with aquafaba which is the juice in a can of chickpeas and then uh, just put some salt and pepper on them. And then I'm gonna put them in a 475 degree oven for 40 minutes, turning them halfway through. And that should make them fork tender. And up next, I'm going to dice an onion. And um, I'm actually going to use my food processor for this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take off the skin uh, on this onion. And this is about a medium sized onion. And the recipe that I'm doing for the gravy is actually a double recipe. So you could actually cut this in half because I'm actually gonna uh, make a double recipe here and freeze it. That way I don't have to make more later. So because I'm using my food processor, I'm just gonna kind of rough chop this and I'm gonna go ahead and um, put it in my food processor all at once and then just pulse it until it's a nice size dice where the pieces aren't gonna be too big. Um, but I, they're not going to be, um, you know, like a, a pulp. <laughs> and then up next is the mushrooms. And this is a whole uh, pound of mushrooms. And I've got my slicing disc in my food processor. And I'm just slicing those up nice and thin. And uh, I had one that just kind of jumped away from me. I am definitely going to go pick that up and put it in there because I cannot waste a mushroom. I love mushrooms. <laughs> so there they all, there they are all nice and sliced up. And I've got two cups of hot water here and I'm just making some uh, veggie broth with some better than bouillon. And so stirring that up. And um, I tend to make mine uh, a little bit um, strong. <laughs> so I use a little bit more than what's recommended on the jar. Um, so stirring that up and up next is two cups of plant-based milk and I'm just gonna pour some nutritional yeast in there and a little bit extra because you can never have too much and give that a good stir. I will put all of the amounts down below. Now I'm using arrowroot as my thickener and um, it is a little bit messy <laughs> as you can see and before you dump the arrowroot into the plant-based milk, uh, minus soy milk, you need to mix it with a little bit of water. It's kind of like cornstarch that way. So you need to make a little bit of a slurry with it to make sure it dissolves all the way before you throw it into a bunch of liquid, otherwise it'll become clumpy. Uh, so just mix it with a little bit of water and then go ahead and pour it into the soy milk along with that nutritional yeast. All right, there we go. And I'm just gonna stir everything up, make sure it's all nice and combined. And then I'm gonna set that aside for later on in my gravy making. And then I've got a pan here and I have it on high and I'm gonna add my onions and mushrooms and I'm gonna water saute these. Now I have cut out most of this footage because it does take quite a while to get the uh, mushrooms and onions reduced um, a good amount. So you're basically just going to saute the heck out of these until they're all the way reduced down. So to speed it up a bit, I put a, the lid on my, um, 
on my pan to get them um, kind of uh, wilted a little bit quicker. And then once that's done, I take the lid off and I just keep sauteing, keep sauteing, keep sauteing until most of the um, juice and water from everything is all gone and it's starting to stick to the bottom of the pan. And then I'm gonna use that vegetable broth that I made earlier to deglaze the pan and pick up all that yummy caramelized goodness off the bottom of the pan. And then I'm gonna throw in the rest of that uh, veggie broth there. And just give everything a good stir. And then I'm gonna uh, put some sage in, some soy sauce for a little bit of umami flavor. Go ahead and stir that up. And then up next, I'm gonna add in uh, that soy milk with the nutritional yeast and the arrowroot powder in there. And then this is where the stir, stir, stirring is gonna come in. So um, this part takes just about as long as the, the mushroom and onion to um, reduce down takes. So leave your burner on high and you're gonna have to reduce the heat eventually as this starts to thicken. But you're just gonna kinda keep stirring so that the gravy doesn't stick to the bottom. And you'll notice, um, again, that I did cut out a lot of the footage because it does take a while, but you'll notice that it starts to thicken and the arrowroot gives it this glossy look and texture, whereas um, you'll notice most gravies made with cornstarch gets a matte look, uh, but with arrowroot it gets glossy. So that's um, exactly how it should look. So don't um, be worried that you did something wrong because it doesn't look like normal gravy. That's exactly how it should look. Um, arrowroot uh, thickener gives it a glossy look. So just keep stirring until it gets to the thickness that you want and then take it off the heat and then we are going to plate our cauliflower steaks and mushroom gravy and how does that look let me tell you that is thanksgiving on a plate right there it is so delicious all right everyone that is it for today's recipe if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet give it a click and i will see you next week